<laughs> hey what up guys and uh, welcome back to 18th or oh, 19th century uh, Japan and I'm currently going commando so I thought I would start off the episode by saying that letting you guys know so we so we connect on a higher level and uh, yeah so last episode which is the first episode if you haven't uh, seen that there'll be a playlist down below so make sure you go ahead and click that um, so yeah if you ever want to find an episode which you've missed maybe um, just go ahead and find the playlist it's on my channel or it'll always be in the description and that's links to all my other shit as well you guys can check out but more about uh, the Shogun um, just after I, I ended my turn sort of just after I left you guys and I sent my uh, navy out here quickly just to find some more people so I can uh, have some more trade and shit with people but obviously I will send it back and go ahead and attack this uh, army again um, we also retraining our army after we just lost that uh, battle, that humiliating defeat. I think the reason we lost it though was solely because they just had a lot better infantry. I mean, their infantry literally destroyed me. Um, it uh, just cut through them like hot butter. But our rifles were better, so we either need to make sure we use our navy. Cause we spent about 1600. Um, oh, they look like they're coming in at me, maybe. This is good too. Two like ways. I could either go for IO now, as they've taken all their troops out, and they're coming for me, or I could just sit back, destroy this army, and then go at them. Hmm. Not quite sure what I'm, what I want to do really. Because I mean, I've got easily enough troops to defend. I mean, look, I've got like three units of quite nice line infantry. Are we at war with these? No, if only we were. So yeah, let's try find where this uh, infantry force went. There it is. Can we hit it? Oh, that's lovely. And our, our um, wooden ship uh, upgraded, so it's now rank 1, so it should give it a little bit better stats. But yeah, they can come at me all they want. They're just, they'll get destroyed if they try and attack me, because I have superior rifles, so I'll just shoot them as they stand. But we need to really focus on getting some good infantry, really. Because our, our people aren't exactly great at infantry. But they're, they're alright, I guess. But we'll go ahead and end the turn again. I mean, clan development, that's almost done in four turns. And then we can get Armstrong guns straight away somehow. I think that's a bit stupid how you can get them so early on. But, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm happy nonetheless. That's still cool. And we've almost de developed one in our clan as well. We've also almost gone up another development level, uh, which is very nice. Oh, we've got an achievement. Father of the Imperial Navy. We'll see what that is um, in a second. Actually, we won't bother seeing, I'm sure. Oh, they're backing off like a bunch of girls. Girls! Um, we need to get. We need to take them, though. We really need to beat them in a battle, because they're just going to be... Um, yeah, we're just going to be growing in numbers, so we need to kill them quickly. But we don't have, really have much money to do anything. Um, I'm going to try fighting around here, because I want to fight them soon before it becomes winter again. And I don't want to be suffering attrition. Oh, someone declares war. Who? Hey. Uh, them two factions. Is my ally? No, my ally is the... No, yeah, they're not. That's cool. Um, recruitment. I mean, we've got nice army. It's just infantry we lack. Infantry we lack a lot. And their infantry is very good. So we'll get two units of infantry, and then we'll go at them. Because that means we'll have five units of uh, two chevron spear levies. A lot of rifle. A lot of good rifles. I mean, these rifles can hold their own. In melee. And um, some shitty spear levies. And then, obviously, I'll take my actual daimyo at him. Because he's a little bit better and he gives more morale. And he shall lead the troops. So, yeah, that'll be the plan. But until then, we shall keep on harassing them. And hopefully we can do a bit more damage. we all kill some men of their general bodyguard, which is always nice. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the turn and then we shall go on the long march to war. And I'm not going to go through uh, this path again. Um, solely because I think it actually does take longer because you're going through the woods and shit and and this way you're actually on a road so oh hello against who are you I think I'm trading with you obviously I'm into on the side of my alliance but I'm not sure who I'm, uh, who I'm suddenly at war with I should probably have checked that out beforehand but that's a good number there so it means my ally is actually growing it's probably this faction I think it's that faction so it just gets good it means my ally is growing but I just need to be growing as well um, yeah, just more troops built, that's cool. Is it these people I'm at war with? Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, diplomacy, I wanted to go. Uh, who am I at war with? These people. No, yeah, I know I'm at war with these people, sorry. Um, who else am I at war with? Hmm. 
Oh, it's so undiscovered. I haven't actually found my clan yet. So I don't even have a clue where they are. Um, so yeah, let's move up the army. It's quite a big army now. And yeah, we should take the boys and we shall go and uh, kick some ass. But yeah, so it's going to take a while to get there. It's going to take a quite a while, but whilst we wait, we can just carry on to bombard them. Doing quite a bit of damage now. And even though they are retraining, it's costing them money to retrain. So that's good. And our ships are getting uh, stronger as well, so that's always nice. And we've almost got about two more turns, which uh, gives us um, uh, five recruiting costs, uh, minus five recruiting costs. So it'll be better when we um, actually buy um, troops. It'll be a lot cheaper, which will be nice. Well, not a lot cheaper, but cheaper nonetheless. And these to turn up cheaper units, really. I'm going to say cheaper one more time. Cheaper. Oh, it looks like they lost. That's not good. I do not want them to lose. Oh, he, lo he looks like he's about to collapse. <laughs> Holding on to that flagpole. That's pretty awesome how he's clinging to the flag. It's probably one of these... Fa oh, I'm pointing with my finger, but clearly you can't see. It's probably one of them factions we're at war with. But we need to go soon. It's gonna be about to be autumn soon. And we don't want to be lingering here too long. I need to make sure we get our ships involved. That's good, but gunboat has leveled up as well. Oh, and I actually destroyed some of their large town and shit. Instead of um, going for them individually. Next time that's done, we should actually probably level up a um, industry level by then. Sorry, I'm just ending my turn really quickly, but we, I want to get this. Uh, I want to have a nice battle, and I want to make sure that my navy is actually in range this time. Because I think that's one reason we did struggle. I'm not quite sure where they're going now. Maybe they're coming to strike the capital, but I'm going to get their capital first, so either way doesn't really bother me <laughs> if we can take my capital quickly then that's fine if I oh actually that's a good idea if I distract their army with my geisha I can take it that turn yeah we went up a development level so we get a a nice uh, bu uh, boost so should we go straight for the Armstrong gun hmm think about it I really want to get one of these though because that that is very nice that gives me a lot more money that makes my people happier, reduces the cost of farms, makes people like me more. I don't know, go ahead, oh I don't know actually. I'm going to go ahead and grab that and then I'm probably going to go get some navy stuff. Because I think that's quite cool. Um, each one, research on military, on civil. Um, we'll go ahead and click military and then I guess we'll change and we'll get that. That takes four turns to get, that gets, so it reduces it by quite a lot. By the time um, this all happens, I'll be able to get that and the Armstrong gun. I think by the time uh, that special buff runs out and it makes everyone, it makes us get a bit more money which is always nice. So yeah we'll go ahead and try to find that army with my geisha, there it is. Oh we don't have enough to quite distract it, that would have been very nice if we could have distracted it. But yeah we're in range of um, my ship, I'll make sure I'm definitely in range, we'll attack their place a little bit more, that's gone up to 3 now, which is very nice. Yeah so we'll attack that a little bit more. And then we'll end the turn. Hopefully they'll either attack us or they'll go for my settlement. And that way I win because I take their settlement and my army should turn to rebels. I believe it should anyway. If not, that's going to be quite awkward because they just have a massive full stack by my base. Well, not full stack. Yeah, they're coming to defend their city. Which means, oh, they managed to win. Yeah, they managed to hold off, which was nice. But I, be I think it is that faction to my right just now across the island. But I'm hoping they can beat them because they have two settlements, so... They're, they're like a lot bigger compared. Autumn, what does autumn bring? More money to farms. Lovely. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and bombard it a bit more. Killing 56 men. We shall go ahead and besiege it. We won't actually attack it though. We'll let them come out at me. We'll just starve them out and shoot them a lot. I mean, they've got a lot more troops now. It wasn't great. But we'll go ahead and starve them out. And she shall, um, next turn, I might, oh actually I'm not sure, I was going to say, I should have really, what I'll do next turn, I'll break the siege, I'll get her to distract some people, to re reduce their numbers, and then I'll bombard it one more time, and then I'll actually fight the siege, I'll actually go and attack them, because the advantage of me attacking them with naval, they're attacking me, um, we have naval support, hmm, 
be honest, I don't really want to fight it when they've got a garrison, because I know it says it's even numbers, and I've got artillery support, but I don't really want to risk it. So we're going to back off a little bit. Oh, they're going to come at me. This is perfect. It means they haven't got their... Um, yeah, it means they haven't actually got their garrison force, which was in the city. And I've, I've still got as many as much advantage as I had last time. So this is lovely. And I, I'm praying to God right now that I don't lose this battle, because that's just going to be embarrassing if I lose this battle. I mean, which means you guys haven't seen me win a battle yet. And I, this is on hard, but it's not on very hard. Because I, I normally play on very hard, but when I am playing on very hard, I keen it the fuck out. You should see me. I just literally just sit there doing so much stuff. Um, just like changing taxes pretty much every turn. And just, it's ridiculous, like using agents so much when I keen it out on very hard. And I've actually completed a campaign on Legendary. I think I did a Chosakari campaign, which is kind of, you know, quite a coincidence considering how um, oh, we're playing as a Chosakari, sort of, a modern version of Chosakari, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I think I did a Legendary campaign with them and just spammed shitloads of archers and uh, just could kill anything before it got to me. It's what I'm going to do when I can get Gatling guns. So get an entire army of Gatling guns and just sit on a hill and watch the Gatling guns shoot. <laughs> or Armstrong guns, an entire army of Armstrong guns. I can imagine uh, the Armstrong guns actually have a, like a large income, um, income sort of barrier. Like it obviously costs a lot to have them. So yeah, when this loads up, we shall go ahead and oh, it's foggy, which means our rifles won't be as effective. But nonetheless, they are they will be very deadly. So we'll have that line there. And obviously we'll let them come to us. We don't want to. Um, we don't want to sort of sit back. Have our spears there. Our cav can go on one flank. With a unit of actual spears, yeah. We'll, we'll move our cav with a unit of spears. And then the other spears can just go behind, really close to my melee line if they chase them or charge them. Yeah, that's cool. We'll get them a little bit closer actually. In case they try to rush my lines, it's a bit easier to get them off. And obviously the general, my, my shogunate, behind. And he should be giving uh, quite a nice buff. There he is. Chilling there. Just like a bounce. Today, yeah. sir, we defend. Today, sir, we defend. I'm actually selecting them. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. These men look quite deadly. And yeah, I'm quite nicely set up. I think it was a mistake for the AI to attack me. I guess because it gives them even odds, um, because it's on hard, they obviously get a little bit of a morale boost and stuff in battle. Um, but overall, I think I can I can win this. I mean, the inventory is a little bit better than mine, but as long as I can eliminate their cav uh, with um, my spears and cav, I should be able to push them back quite easily, and that was really quick. So yeah, if I can move up these cav up together with uh, this spear unit, I can then wipe out their cav and then hopefully kill their general. My missiles should tear their troops to shit because my, my line infantry is a lot better than their men so that should do a lot of damage and we have uh, artillery support as well. Now how long does this artillery? It takes 11 seconds so I sort of need to watch how far they go in 11 seconds and find sort of a place to shoot. I guess I get around here. I wonder how, how big area is. So we'll click it on play quickly. And so I guess we'll go about around where that tree is. I want to see um, how big an area, that is a large area, but I guess we'll do it nonetheless, okay, I think around there, because it's a massive area as well, so, yeah, I think if even if that was focused it would be very nice, that would probably be direct if it was focused, oh you can hear the guns, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but you actually heard the guns shoot then, and you can normally see the guns as well shoot, if you like right by the coast, I mean I guess I could have seen them across there they sort of notice now which isn't great but hopefully it's too late by then oh that's some nice hits oh that units, these units have been destroyed oh my god that is a massacre that is horrific, that did so much damage that killed a lot of men so that definitely gives me an advantage already yeah that killed about a hundred men which is a very very nice uh, achievement so our rifles around here can shoot I mean they can charge their horses at me if they want but they're not going to do too well oh that was a very nice artillery bombardment another minute to the next one, minute and a half which isn't great so it's a long time, I doubt we'll be able to use it by that time I guess we'll be in combat 
So I now, yeah, I just fast forward it a bit more. Need to watch that cav. See what it's actually doing. Rifles are about to shoot. Getting ready. I need to watch for that cav as well. Yeah. Lovely. Spears got in front of the cav. They can hopefully collapse on that cav. Um, now we'll move shit. I w wasn't too um, focused on that. Need to be bringing everyone back. Our cav can then smash into the back of them, which is nice. Our, this infantry can then come round the side as they engage. Uh, we've got another spear unit here we can engage. We shall pop the inspire on that spear unit. And we should, yeah, we've pretty much cleared that up. We can charge them now with our cav. We're winning on that flank. They're about to route, which isn't great, so we'll pop the rally so they won't route. And we'll hit all them. These are about to line up and give a nice fucking volley on them. Get our general win just for a bit of moral support, you know. Come on, volley them. Volley them, you levy bastards. Oh, there we go. Look at them drop. That was a lovely volley, man. I am very happy with you guys. Yeah, slash into the side of these. Yeah, this has been an awesome victory. victory is assured, sir. What we will do, though, I'm gonna, I'm probably not going to make you guys watch, but I'm going to chase down all these men because I want to be able to take the castle of these. So uh, it's probably going to end the battle now. There we go. But I'm not going to make you guys watch, so I'll bring it back to you guys when we're actually in the campaign battle, but I'm just going to get my cab and clean everything up. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys now. So, yeah, we absolutely destroyed them. We actually uh, killed a hell of a lot. Yeah, they only have 19 men remaining. So that was a very strong victory for us. So we, we will go ahead and take their settlement next turn. Very, so yeah, that'll be very easy as well. They, they should only have a garrison, which I'll probably bribe. Even though I probably don't have to, but I don't want to risk it. So we'll go ahead and, um, yeah, take that. That's an arse oh, revolt. Why do you want to revolt? Okay, so I quickly just distracted the garrison. Sorry about that, I was talking to my mum. I quickly just distracted the garrison. Um, so they, they lost quite a few troops and then, yeah, bombarded it. But general has six men left. We'll auto-resolve it. And yeah, easily won. We lost 200 men, but still, that's fine. Um, general increased in rank. Oh, look how much money you can get. But I want this to be quite a, a major province for me. So we'll peacefully occupy. General increased in rank. We got uh, that, which means um, our people are more happy. Oh, they're more pro-imperial, which is cool. So yeah, we now have won that, which is very nice. Um, I had to exempt one of my settlements from tax, but I will have to exempt them, which means we get minus money. So that is um, improbable, we can't do that. And we will repair them with some money. And I think the reason this is so unhappy, let's have a look. They're actually fine if I resent them from tax, but um, they become unhappy. I don't need to increase the garrison here, uh, but I don't need money to do that. I do have money, do I not? No, not enough. Ah, how awkward. Um, hmm. Yeah, we will guess we'll just wait um, for them to rebuild, and we'll leave it here. We also got a nice, cool little-looking statue there as well for our, our heroic victory. So that was uh, very nice. Um, I guess we'll have to go help out our allies if they're still at war. Um, in a second. Perhaps if they want a peace treaty. Who are they at war with? Are they at war with my allies? I can't afford. Um. I can't afford to leave my allies to go. Actually, no, actually. I'm gonna make them pay me. Because if they take out my allies, um, will they do that? Ah, oh, they can accept it. Because if they kill my allies, then I can take the entire island for myself. Which could be a possible plan. Hmm. We'll see, but I, I don't know. I'd like to have my ally strong, be like be at my side. And where are you? Oh, is that a rebel army? Awkward. Oh. Oh, we got two hundred grand to our our um thing, which is always nice. Where are you? There you are. Reasonably big. Four units. They won't be able to take the city, as I have. <laughs> Just two generals here. Guess we should probably build some troops there. 
we will build levy troops. I don't really want to have expensive troops there. That should be plenty. I mean, I guess I need to try save up and try upgrade one of these at some point. And what are we researching? That all should be done next turn, which means troops are cost. Uh, yeah, troops. Uh, well, ships cost a lot less. And let's try find out who we're actually at war with by sending the navy out into the sea. We should, we should find quite a few more clans as well doing this. Yeah, a few more clans encountered. That clan's quite big. The Mayot, or how have you pronounce that? The Matter, I, I can't be able to try to find out. Yeah, but all these clans are getting quite big and I'm, I don't want to be uh, left lagging behind. We've, oh, we'll move our Geisha over here as well. Oh, this faction we're at war with. They didn't actually own it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take this um, at some point. That would be very nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. We'll start bombarding it, bombarding it as well. Because our ships are quite strong now. End turn. Kind of rinsed all my money, but I needed to protect myself um, against the rebels down below in uh, Tosa. I needed to have a strong force there. So that's where all my money really went. Uh, sorry, I just got a text in because I'm so goddamn popular. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they don't um, go for the settlement before I can take it. That would not, not to be great. And the rebel army still just chilling. And there you go, we've done that. And we shall go for the Armstrong gun maybe. Let's see what that does. Blinding grenades, nothing I really want. That could be quite nice. The, the uh, naval defences and de all the towers. Because towers um, now have a special ability um, which allow you to um, actually use well use special abilities on them so you can uh, use like fire arrows and stuff on the towers which is quite cool let's see are you happy just about okay I'll exempt you from tax and you're still happy which boosts up my income I need, need to take out these lads at some point but they're not really something I have to worry about at the moment Send our gaze for up. Yeah, they've got no troops here. I wonder where their army is. Hmm. Oh, they might have a navy actually. We will attack the port. And uh, I'm not quite sure what attacking the port does, but I'm sure hopefully it can make it ours. But yeah, we could go ahead and go for them, as I can't see that army around. Oh, we need to upgrade our general as well. Let's add him some retainers. Um, one command in all situations. <coughs> one loyalty. Uh, we'll go one command. Command is always nice. Um, we have one point to spend in command when defending two armor to his man's bodyguard, which makes him a beast. Oh well, obviously that we will um, increase the attack of his men. That's what that basically does. So we'll take a, a decent force with us. Hopefully that stays happy, yeah that seems like it's going to be happy. And we should go ahead and hopefully take their settlement, because that's a nice army. And that's still reasonably alright, but well, it's very unhappy now, like quite a way. Hmm, I need to really send a general up there, but I can't because that army's blocking it. But we'll do an exempt from tax, so we're not really giving me, well they're giving me 300 from tax anyway. And they're still unhappy, hmm, that's not great. Uh, oh, I can get loads of troops from here. Um, I could hire one of them. I'm gonna hire a ninja. I mean, I'm sticking him in the town next turn to uh, uh, make a spy network. Because if I do that, then it should reduce his. Um, well, it should reduce the overall unhappiness of a crime. Because that can last a turn or so without um, anyone in. So that should be absolutely fine. Uh, you want a peace treaty? You can uh, suck the fatty of life. Because I'm about to take your settlement. So that is cool. That means we'll have most of uh, the islands as well, which will be nice. And then we can start actually pushing off into mainland Japan, which will be awesome when we can start doing that. That will be very beneficial to our clan overall. We can't. We need to make sure we don't get too cocky. Oh, they're attacking my port. I just can't have that. It's my port. Um, yeah, if I tell him to establish a spy network, that should start reducing the unrest. And if we just carry on moving this place to here, 
uh, they're continuing to attack the port, it's just destroying the port, and we try to bombard them, do a bit of damage to that, and we'll keep on scouting with our geisha just to make sure that army isn't around anywhere. By the looks of it, they're not. We, we shall also go have a look and have a look at this place because um, that'll obviously be our next line of uh, our next line of attack. Really, that's where we want to be going next. Um, can we really get a general? Because I want to move one of these generals uh, all the way around and get him into the city, but I don't want to risk it too much. If we move him this way, and then he can get onto the road, and he can get there. Taking three turns, but nonetheless, it'll be uh, better than nothing. But yeah, we can get some of these match shots actually, because they have a nicer range, I believe. I think they have a longer range and they're better actually in combat, which I think is uh, quite nice. And yeah, when we take uh, Suniki, that should add to our overall uh, money. Yeah, so we should be getting quite a nice income when I sort out. Oh shit, that's what I didn't see. But hopefully we can give a joint attack, that wouldn't be too bad. If we both attacked him, we should be able to beat him. Hmm trying to think now what to do because that army can kill my army easily I'm quite sure whether oh the rebel army is going to destroy some of my stuff oh some more civil unrest fuck off um, I'm not going to be able to take this base I'm going to have to go back and put down the rebellion I can't risk it really so yeah we'll go ahead and put this down but we will go ahead and aid our allies by bombarding their uh, infantry yeah, we killed them then, which wasn't bad. What have they even got in that army? Just levy troops. We could probably beat that actually. Our troops are a lot and uh, a lot more elite. But yeah, we've had to bring back some troops to solely just to sort out the unrest here, which is annoying. But uh, there's little we can do about it. I guess we'll repair that, and then obviously repair that when it's finished done. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode uh, now. We get Armstrong gone in, guns in two. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode now. Um, we've done quite. Oh, we've been quite successful, which has been uh, pretty awesome. Uh, next turn, we'll put down all the rebellions, and we'll go ahead and try and take this place for Saniki um, from yeah from them. And hopefully we can um, yeah hopefully we can beat that army somehow. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. Cause they have a lot more numbers than us, but we actually have line infantry, whereas they have levies. So in a proper line battle, our men should um, absolutely rinse them, but. That's to say if it will actually happen or not. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll make sure we take out this army. And it's winter now, so we can't really afford... We have to be waiting for the next couple of turns to actually... Um, to actually go to war at all. Because we don't want to stay out in the river for too long. So yeah, we'll go ahead and attack them next turn. We will give one good last bombardment of their city. Oh, it didn't cause any damage. And yeah, so um, I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe if you haven't, and fish out.